How's it going YouTube? This is Andrew. Today's video is going to be on making a monthly budget or a monthly bill tracker. Super easy. All you need is a Microsoft Excel. You can use it on a PC or a Mac. So whichever kind of computer you use, you should be able to acquire Excel or something similar. Uh, we're going to jump straight into this. I'm going to switch screen so you can see mine. So basically you just have a new Excel um, spreadsheet open here and we're gonna go straight into this so on the top here and this is just how I organize mine you don't need to do it exactly the same um, it's very simple you just need to know a few tricks with Excel um, so bills uh, amount um, due date those are the top three um, columns here and I like to make these bigger and bold and underlined and centered to make these so you can see how it's crunched together you just double click on the edge here and it'll spread it out good so um, when you type in these everybody's gonna be different you know this is essentially a snapshot of what you pay per month um, this is gonna help you you know keep track of bills that you um, have paid um, how much you owe per month to bills um, so essentially how much you need to make per month to survive and it'll just all around having this spreadsheet will help you. It'll ease your mind. Uh, it, it'll just help you be organized. I don't, there's a lot of people that I'm sure do this. I've done this because I watched my dad do it when he, um, you know, was paying bills or just keeping track of stuff. He was an accountant. So this is what he did. So you're going to want to organize these by due date uh, just so you can type in paid when you've paid that bill. Uh, we'll jump straight into this. So typically rent is the first thing. We'll just use 600 and due date is the first. Um, one thing I want to note here is you'll probably want all these to be um, in dollar sign. So you highlight that column, the amount column, and you just click the dollar sign right up here. And it'll make everything in that column um, with the dollar sign in front. So rent being the first. I like all these in the middle too, so I hit center. Good. So we'll say the next bill that per month is a cell phone. Let's say you pay a hundred bucks and that's due on the third of each month. I'll just make this wider. Okay, we'll say electricity. So this would be for your home or apartment, whether you share um, the electricity bill with other people, like you know, three of you renting a condo or, or some kind of situation. We'll just, we're just using made up numbers here. So let's say your share is a hundred. Let's do a fifth. Let's see, water, we'll say 50. I mean, these are all made up. These will be your numbers, what you do per month. Um, electricity, water, gas, I'll say 50, do on the ninth. You know, so it's super easy. You're just typing the bill that you have each month, the amount you pay per month, and then the due date. And remember, you wanna keep it organized, you know, um, from the first bill down to the last bill for each month, just so for the second half here, just so it's easier to keep track. Uh, what else? Let's say you have a car payment, and that is, I don't know, everybody's number is different. We'll say it's 300, that's due on the 14th. Let's say your car insurance, let's say that's 100, it's due on the 18th. Um, internet. Everybody pays a different amount, depending on what company you have. Let's say it's due on the 20th. Good, so you get the point. So these are all the main bills. Obviously, um, your electricity, water, and gas fluctuate each month, but you know you can type in the, you know, the, your last month. You can always, this number can always be changed. It's not, um, it's not in cement. But I am gonna type up here, these are fixed bills. Fixed bills, and I like to make this bigger. Bigger and bold and underlined. And so these are all your fixed bills. Those are the bills that you know and they have a due date and you know you have to pay those each month. Um, and this next bottom part here, I like to do variable bills or variable, you know, we'll just type bills, but variable costs to life. Um, first one being, let's see here, we'll say gas station. So everybody that has a car has to pay for gas. Um, I think I do like $60 a week for just my car alone. Um, so I'm gonna put 240 in here. 
and let's say grocery grocery store that number is going to fluctuate big time depending if you have kids and let's see gas station grocery store and let's say we do like fast food or restaurant and we'll put that there this number you know you're just guesstimating on those and these this is just so it can be more accurate the more accurate this is you know um, you know where you stand uh, per month if you're making enough money so I'll just use all those as, as an example um, down here we'll do monthly total and we'll make this nice and big and bold so we know what we're looking at good and it's just a simple Excel formula you just up here so you click on the box that you want to be putting the total in you click up here you do an equal sign and then type sum and open bracket and you'll click on the highest one in there you hold shift and click on the lowest bill there and you do a close bracket so it just adds up all those columns and gives you this grand total here of 2200 now so essentially that I'll show you that if you're not making 2200 a month then you're not able to pay all your bills um, obviously this gas station grocery and fast food are just thrown in there but this just gives you a basic glimpse on how to build a spreadsheet um, the second portion here, I like to do this so I know that I'm paying my bills on time. So I'll just do like a 2018 here. Actually, I do this one thing higher. This is why I made a space up at the top here, just so I didn't start right below. Um, I do, so we're in year 2018, and we're January being the first month. And you can get all the months to self-populate here. You just hold the bottom right, and it'll make all the other months for you so through December and with something squished like September you just double click and it'll open it up in November good so as you go let's see I'll make these a little bit bigger and underlined good so as you go let's say it's you know January 1st and you have just paid your rent you just type paid and let's say it's the third and you do paid so as you go through the month and you pay your bills you just type in paid and this will help you keep track of when you paid your bills if you've paid your bills let's say it's the 13th and you're like man did I pay my car payment yet did I pay the $300 yet you open your spreadsheet and you go oh man I didn't type paid so I need to go pay the bill you pay it online whatever and then once you pay it you just type paid um, super easy super simple to do um, there's ways you can make this more organized you know you can highlight everything and over here you can make a grid so there's a border around everything so that can be all organized there you know you can change the monthly total to you know in red so you can see exactly how much you need to make um, essentially this is however you want to do it this is just how you build it um, super simple typing in the paid really helps by getting that stuff out of your head because you know you can you can really weigh yourself down by going, man, did I pay my car payment or did I pay the gas? And then when you start paying things late, you pay late fees, then you're paying money to people for no reason. You're paying extra money for no reason. Um, yeah, this is it. Simple, easy. Um, if you know Excel, you can do other cool stuff with this, but um, I'll just keep it super simple, and that'll be the video. Um, hopefully you guys liked it. Thumbs up, please. Comments down below. Subscribe to the channel and uh, share it with your friends. I really would appreciate it.